Hey, y'all, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm, and as you can see, I'm not alone. I'm with Gabby and Matt, both of them from Finding Country and also Sovereign Village Project. Many of you are probably subscribed to both of them. If you're not, get over there, get it done. Well, I'm out here teamed up to, with really good friends right now to look at a really awesome site because we are about to have the Back to the Land Festival. It's going to be the coolest type of thing out there of its kind. We're in a location that is absolutely breathtaking with so many wonderful activities for adults and children. We'll get into that in a moment. One thing I really love about it is that it's going to incorporate so many things in so many different ways that has probably never been done in any kind of festival you've ever been to. And we're gonna do it where it's affordable, folks. That's most mm -hmm. important. So with that said, we're gonna hand it off to Matt. Yeah, so it's gonna be, if you're familiar with the idea of a homesteading conference or festival, it's gonna, in some ways, not reinvent the wheel, but really what we're gonna do is bring in a lot of speakers who are masters of their craft in some field of building sustainability and self-sufficiency and resilience into your homestead, but also into your community. And so that's gonna be a big focus outside of just homesteading is how can you build community where you're, wherever you're at? How can you find the like-minded people who value all of those same things? Self-sufficiency, resiliency, all of the, uh, and regenerating the land and the people around us. And how can we make action plans to really go about making these improvements that we all know that we need to make in the world? So it's, it's, a, it's about learning new things and learning some hands-on skills related to homesteading, but also about making the connections needed to really change our communities, change the towns or the rural areas that we live in, and to change our families and our homesteads for the better. And, and uh, we found a, a, an amazing location for it, and I think we're looking at mid-October for it. I can't wait for it. But you know, one cool thing that unlike any other festival out there, folks, and there's nothing wrong with the other ones out there, what I want to really point out is that this location also lends itself in a massive way to activities for children. What are they getting? So the cool, probably the coolest part of this venue to me is the fact that we'll have access to staff who will be able to kind of take, you know, take the kids away, take them for, away from you for a little bit so you can focus on the learning and they'll get to do a lot of fun stuff like archery, axe throwing, dodgeball, you know, all the sort of summer camp activities that you probably grew up doing yourself, they'll get to experience with other kids in, you know, your region or, or close to your regions of the country and really meet some friends to themselves that hopefully they'll create their own connections while you're also creating some uh, for yourselves. So we've got a ton of great activities lined up for kids and this is a real family event. It's great for couples it's great for single people too I mean we'll have just really it's just gonna run the gamut and be so versatile that it's gonna be a great conference for anyone yeah how many conference festivals. do you yeah how many festivals do you know of where your kids walk away knowing how to throw an axe <laughs> you don't that doesn't we have give them axes at the end <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll raffle off axle axes and you know everything else but all jokes aside folks this is going to be really something else just the environment alone is going to be worth the trip. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the fellowship, the brotherhood, all of the wonderful things that can unfold. Beauty, you know, love comes easy in a place like this. Mm -hmm. And I think you're going to love it. So, folks, I'm excited. I can't wait to see all of you. I know that these two can't wait either. Mm -hmm. We have yet, we have undisclosed surprises along the way that I think you're going to dig. Not the least of which being the affordability of all this. So, folks, until next time, this is Billy the Permaculture Pimp Daddy with my very good friends Gabby and Matt from Finding Country and Sovereign Village Project. We're all teamed up for this, folks. Can't wait to see you at this thing. We'll see you next time.